Hey guys, this is Matt from The Van Project. Today we're here outside Joshua Tree National Park. We're going to show you our solar panels and show you what makes the electricity work inside our RV. This is our 1964 Clark Cortez motorhome named Tesere. We installed three 100 watt, 12 volt monocrystalline flexible solar panels, which we got from Amazon for about $190 each. We mounted the panels using custom welded brackets so we could easily remove them in the future. The brackets are attached to the roof using a steel reinforced epoxy called JB Weld. Duct tape holds the edges of the panels and wiring down. The wiring is routed into the RV through the old refrigerator vent. We repurposed the old propane compartment and made it into our battery storage area for two 12 volt deep cycle batteries. A small bus bar is used to ground our charge controller and our AC inverter. Two fuses are installed on the positive leg of both the charge controller and AC inverter. This is a very important component of any solar setup. Our two batteries are secured so they don't move around inside the compartment. Inside our rear storage area is where our electrical components are mounted. We have a Solar Epic 40 amp MPPT charge controller with the MT50 display. All of our DC appliances connect to this DC fuse panel and each circuit has its own fuse. We do occasionally need AC power and this is provided by our Kotec 1500 watt AC inverter. It's a pure sine wave inverter capable of delivering clean, stable power. Here's some of the stuff we power with our inverter. A small blender, electric toothbrush, and an electric flosser. We have a three outlet plug available under the sink. Our water pump gives us water on demand and is DC voltage. Our single biggest power usage item is our ARB fridge freezer. It's big enough to hold a week's worth of food and is adjustable. The compressor in the fridge comes on about once an hour in warmer weather. We also have 10 of these DC voltage LED lights installed throughout the RV. They use very little electricity and we use them every evening. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, we'd love to hear what you have to say, so leave us a comment below.